Hey, what's going on, nerds and fellow geek aficionados? It's me, and this is another Brave Vlog. Hey, let's talk about some um, Batman, because I am in the mood to talk about some Batman, because I, of course, just watched the... Um, I just watched the Arkham Asylum. I'm not Arkham Asylum. I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking ahead. I just watched the um, Suicide Squad feature red again because I'm just so geeked up for it. Like I'm, I'm ready for it, right? So let's talk. Let's talk about uh, Batman and the upcoming Batman movie whenever it may come. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everybody's up on track as far as SDCC 2016 and the reviews and the news and the movie news and all that. So Ben Affleck was there and. Um, of course, he's working on the upcoming Batman movie, the, the Dolo movie, where Batman goes for Delph. And uh, he's writing it with Jeff Johns. He's, they're writing it together. No other hands are going to be on it. So that's a good sign. That means it's not going to be a whole bunch of hands in the pot dragging Batman all over the place, making him something that he shouldn't be or something that we wouldn't want to see, right? So that's pretty cool. And of course, he's going to direct it too, which is even better. So I think that uh, Ben Affleck is a banging ass, banging ass director, right? And I also loved, if you know anything about me, then you know, I loved his fucking Batman in the Batman v Superman movie, right? So everything points to, and I think it's damn near being confirmed that it's going to be an Arkham Asylum story, like an Arkham movie, right? Which is fucking cool because that means <laughs> we can see all kinds of fucking Batman villains. We can see all kinds of Batman villains, right? So maybe we can get some Joker in there. Which Joker is most likely going to be the um the lead the lead criminal lead uh, villain? Because if you think about it, from the Batman vs Superman, and then you know he had the um the bat suit with the Joker paint all over it, right? So that I mean, and Jared Leto's going to do an excellent job in Suicide Squad. So it only makes sense to bring them back, especially as Batman is going to be in that, right? So awesome. So um, the question is, how will they, how will they get all of these bad guys into the movie, make it fit and make it work right? Okay, if they do it like Arkham, like the video game, then it's not a problem because they can just kind of follow that path. They can also pull from Arkham, um, Arkham from Batman prior Batman comics, like all the different Arkham stories. This gangs, this gangs of Arkham stories, and I do believe there's a there's um, a few Arkham actual. Uh, now, my actual graphic novels. I know I have one, for instance. Uh, so I know there's a few of those. So there's plenty of subject matter you could pull from. From what I understand, they're um, going to be grabbing from bits and pieces of everything. But believe you me, believe you me, I'm turning real quick because the car's stopping in front of me. Believe you me, I said, fast, I'm gonna got like the reactions of a cat because I'm a racer. I live my life one red light to the next. <laughs> so believe you me, that is going to be. Um, based off of the video game heavily. I don't care what no one says. You can try and say it's not. You can try and say no. But that's the smartest thing you could possibly do. Let me tell you why. One, the video games are popular now, right? The video games is banging. That's like, that's like the best shit on a fucking video game console you can get as far as some Batman goes, right? And if you look at B versus B BVS, the whole fighting style was taken from there. That Batman was taken from there, right? That whole fucking Batman punching motherfuckers, take their head, bow, put their head into the ground, punch them, break them down, whole body just, oh, breaks down. That whole shit was taken from the fucking uh, Batman games. They even said it. All the fight choreography came from there. So uh, you can bet your money it's going to be that. Now the question is, what Batman do you want to see? Do you want to see the brooding, mean, pissed off, tired of these fucking Gotham criminals because Gotham ain't been good Who? how many good guys are stuck around how many good guys stay good Batman which is what I want to see or do you want to go back to an earlier time when Batman was still playing nice and didn't still have the rules and didn't want to catch no bodies fuck that I want to see a Batman that got some bodies on that Batarang. On my Batman, they got some bodies on the Batarang. I'm talking about popping motherfuckers' asses. That's what I want to see, right? I want to see Batman go in there and smash motherfuckers. Smash them, beat their heads open, right? And so, like, bits and pieces throughout the nerd uh, news spectrum, all the little nerd resources, a lot of people are saying that, uh, or speculating, that it's going to be uh, kind of done in the way The Raid was done. Now, if you're not familiar with The Raid, it's this, um, it's a foreign movie. I was like, I don't want to sound racist. I don't know if it was Chinese, Asian, Japanese, I don't fucking know. I know I saw it. Uh, and there's, there's multiple Raids, too. I saw, uh, I think it was the, the first one or the second one. Now, here's a little tip on The Raid. Have you seen Dread? Dread 
you I don't give a fuck what nobody says. I don't think it's ever been admitted. But Dread, not that, not the, not Judge Dread, which uh, Special Alone, which is a classic still. It's like a cult classic, right? But it's still corny as fuck, right? I'm talking about the one that came out more recently, right? That movie was pulled directly from the raid. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care. They try and deny it. You, you watching this video right now, try and deny it. Put in the comments that you deny it, and I will debate you for the rest of the day. For the remainder of the day, I will debate you on the fact that that, that fucking whole that whole setup came from there, right? So they're talking about doing the Batman movie in that way, or oh, that's a speculation amongst the nerd heads, right? I think that will work. I think that will be dope because that's basically the way the game went any freaking way. You're going level to level and each villain has their own like little level or whatever the case is until he gets to the Joker, right? Only thing is I want to be able to see the Joker throughout the movie, but that would totally freaking work. That would totally freaking work. Next thing is would you see anybody for the Justice League? Would you see, you know, because you know how like the Marvel movies, they tie stuff in, you know, you'll have this other super, you have Iron Man appear in the Spider-Man movie. You have, you know, you're going to have this guy appear in that movie. I personally don't want to see none of that shit. I don't want to see none of that shit. I don't want to see none of it. You know, I don't, I don't got time for you to be trying to make it work. Don't fuck up a Batman. I need a Batman to be good. Like, I am a guy that likes a whole bunch of Batman movies. Like, Batman is my favorite. That's what I want to see. I don't need to see that other stuff. You can do that shit in the other movies. So save it. That's my opinion. What's your opinion? What do you think? You want? Do you want to see? Do you want to see Wonder Woman in the Batman movie helping him fight? No, because she's extra strong. She's gonna beat everybody's ass. They won't need him. Now, I wouldn't mind seeing Gal Gadot just like maybe like in conversation or like appear or you know what I'm saying but not while he's fighting that like on some old dating shit because I am also a guy that like the whole Batman and Diana relationship from the Justice League cartoon I love that shit speaking of which it really fucking irritated me and I'm glad I did the whole regeneration rebirth shit with DC because it pissed me off that Batman wasn't knocking down fucking uh, Diana instead it was Super Wonder, Superman and, and and Wonder Woman that irritated the hell out of me during New 52s. I couldn't stand it. Every time I saw the, the whole Wonder Woman Superman shit, the comic pissed me off. Every time I walked by, I just kind of sneered like, I want to see a Chirac Savage Batman or a Gotham Rat Savage. Is that is that a thing? Is that a thing? That'd be a thing. I don't know. That's what I want to see. So what you could do like is, okay, so Superman died, blah, 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 a little bit of time after that. He's back in Gotham. And because of that big ass battle with, um, what's that fucker's name? Doomsday that just totally destroyed motherfucking Gotham and, and, uh, Metropolis because of that, he could have shooken some shit up at Arkham and some criminals got free. Joker took over the jail, and now all the bad guys run the cuckoo house, and now Batman's got to go and put that shit in order before he can go off and do and search for the people for the uh, other uh, DC Justice League cats, which could breathe, which could introduce the conversation, gives him a little room to slide um, Gal Gadot up in that bitch, right? And they can have that conversation. Batman's like, yeah, I'm gonna get on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting on that shit, shorty. But first, you know what I mean? I gotta go down here handle this business. This motherfucking joker. This cat, man. This cat don't let everybody out. Motherfucking prison cells and shit. And run around. Motherfuckers pissing. Not inside the cell, but outside the cell. And we can't handle nobody pissing outside the cell. We gotta take care of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So then Batman goes in. I am justice. And he, get, he delivers that justice. That would be cool as fuck. Or it could happen, like, after the Suicide Squad movie. Like, after, like, he done busted them motherfuckers. But see, I don't know how that would work because that's a lot of, that's a lot of things that could be in. Like, you don't really want to tie to Suicide Squad tie-in. Now, I could see some of that. I could see some of that. Because, uh, I don't know. There's a way he could work that in because it could actually be a pre-portion leading up to the Suicide Squad, whereas you would see um, Harley Quinn. Yeah, you could see Harley Quinn. Yeah, because she's got to be in it. The Joker's in it. Harley Quinn's in it. It's going to be a pre- I guarantee you. Put money on it. Put money on it. I guarantee you. I guarantee you it'll be a pre-up to the Suicide Squad deal. Yeah. Yeah, because the Suicide Squad deal has got to be, and we don't know this yet, but I'm going to go ahead and guess it. It's got to be a prequel, or as far as timelines go, it's got to be a prequel to the whole Doomsday battle. I would think so. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe not, because when she comes in and she says the next battle will be against metahumans, 
um, our babies or their better humans. It could be uh, and, and because based off of that last battle with Doomsday. It, that could be the case too. So I don't know. But I, I, whatever the case is, it'll be tied in to, to, to Suicide Squad. Meaning you will have Harley Quinn and you will have Jerry Leto in that movie in some way. Shit, you might even get a cap from, um, you might even get a little splash of Will Smith in the cage. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't think that. Yeah, because Dead Shots in Arkham. Hoo hoo! Look at that shit! Hey, fucking. The motherfucker Batman Arkham movie just went all the way up as far as possibilities go because you can get all that shit in there, dog. That movie's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling that shit. So uh, what are your thoughts? What, what, what are you guys thinking? What's the direction you think they should go in? You Let me know. You you tell your old boy. You tell your homeboy, bro. You let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what do you think the time frame is going to be? Um, what criminals would you like to see in it? Which, are, which Arkham criminals would you like to see in it? Do you think Suicide Squad members should be in it? Other than Joker and um, Harley, because you know they're going to be in it. Which ones would you like to see? Which ones would you not like to see? Right? And most importantly, do you want to see appearances from other DC Justice League characters in it? Other than just via conversation being like Wonder Woman, like I said. Tell me what you think. I want to know what you think. What you think? All right. I'm out of here, man. Out of here. It's Friday.